blessed be friends, join me as we adventure to several wonderful places in the Philippines and see the current situation of each area, and therefore giving you an up-to-date travel situation as it is in our journey. Ride with me with my ever so faithful cafe for 100 motorcycle, and let us visit together some coffee shops, restaurants, resorts, and several more wonderful spots in the Philippines that some may not even know that exist. Today, we are riding to Carmen's Garden Resto in Lantic Carmona, Cavite, Philippines. It's a Pululo and Iniho restaurant in Carmona, Cavite. But first, do like and subscribe here in Logo Viajero YouTube channel. Yes, like and subscribe here and let the journey begin. Today I am gonna take you on a ride down Carmona Drive in Cavite, Philippines. Buckle up cause it's gonna be one heck of an adventure. Carmona Drive is like a hidden gem tucked away in the beautiful province of Cavite. As you cruise along this road, you'll wanna stop every few minutes just to take it all in. Rice fields, coconut plantations, and vibrant flowers you name it. Carmona Drive's got it. Timing is key, my friends. The weather can be a bit unpredictable, so plan your trip wisely. You wouldn't want to get caught in the rain and ruin your adventure, would ya? And please let's remember to respect the local culture and be responsible travelers. Keep the environment clean, folks. We want to preserve this natural beauty for generations to come. Filipinos are respectful people that's always on smile. Do so, and you'll enjoy your trip well. So now, get ready to be blown away by the beauty, the history, and the good vibes this place has to offer. Let's hit the road and make some unforgettable memories together. Yeehaw! Passing over a small overhead bridge, we will be approaching Carmona Circle Landmark that looks like a smaller and glow. Here we turn left most to Alvarez Avenue which brings you beside Carmona Public Market, a landmark you cannot miss. Right in front is the Sorteo NG Bucket Monument, and I'm just itching to share with you the incredible tale of it. Now, this here is not your run-of-the-mill monument, no sir. It's a symbol of grit, unity, and the true heart of the Filipino people. Picture this. Back in the 1800s, the Philippines was under the thumb of Spanish rule, and things were mighty tough for the common folk. You see, there was this thing called the Sorteo NG Bucket a land distribution system imposed by the Spanish authorities. And boy, oh boy, it caused nothing but grief and hardship for the Filipino farmers and the borers. But you know what they say, when the going gets tough, the tough get going. The good folks of Cavite City weren't ones to sit idle and take it lean down. No, Siri. They stood up together, shoulder to shoulder, and said, enough is enough. They fought with all their might, demanding justice and the right to their land. And let me tell ya, they fought like lions, brave, determined, and with a fire in their heart. 
And that's exactly what the Sorte RNG Bucket Monument celebrates. It's a tribute to those ordinary heroes who stood tall against injustice, fighting for their rights and the future of their families. It's a monument that makes you pause, reflect, and appreciate the sacrifices of those who came before us. A reminder that our freedom, our rights, and our unity ain't something to be taken for granted. I am proud to be a Filipino. Cummins Garden Resto in Lantic Carmona Carviti is a Pulolo and Inihor specialty restaurant with touch of Carmona unique flavor. It's a simple cozy family restaurant right in front of Carmona Municipal Park. You just cannot miss it. Kane's Garden Resto is just opposite Carmona Municipal Park. The park is a lush haven of greenery and natural wonders. The moment you step foot in this sanctuary, you're greeted by a symphony of bird songs and the sweet aroma of fresh air. You can lay out your picnic blanket, soak in the sun, and have a delightful meal with your loved ones. There's no better way to enjoy the great outdoors, I reckon. And for all the photographers out there, this place is a dream come true. Everywhere you turn, there's a picture-perfect moment just waiting to be captured. So don't forget to bring your trusty camera and snap away to your heart's content. Remember, when you're at Carmona Municipal Park, let's all do our part to preserve its beauty. Respect the environment, pick up after ourselves, and keep this natural treasure pristine for future generations to enjoy. Just like in the park, Carmen's Garden Resto feels like an extension of it. Enjoy an il fresco dining with lavish green garden, cozy place and very good food. I'm gonna let you in on a little secret, the unique and delectable system of cooking in Carmona. It is not just a pretty little town with picturesque landscapes. It's also a place where cooking is an art and flavors dance like nobody's business. You see, Carmona has its very own system of cooking. First off, let me tell ya about their traditional way of preparing dishes. It's a blend of old school techniques and a touch of innovation. The locals take great pride in their culinary heritage and keep those age-old recipes alive and kick in. The real kicker, folks, the secret ingredients and cooking techniques passed down through generations. You see, in Carmona, they believe that love is the most important ingredient in every dish. Yep, you heard that right. When those skilled Carmona cooks whip up their culinary wonders, they pour their hearts and souls into it. It's not just about slapping some ingredients together. It's an art, a passion, and a way of showing love to family and friends. That's why every dish that comes out of a Carmen's kitchen tastes like a warm embrace. And the best part, you don't have to be a fancy chef to enjoy this unique cuisine. Comona's cooking is all about simplicity and authenticity. So whether you're savouring it in a fancy restaurant or grabbing a bite from a humble eatery, you'll still get a taste of that Carmen's garden resto magic. So the next time you find yourself in Carmona Carvey Tea, don't forget to savour the flavours, feel the love, and enjoy the culinary wonders of this special place. Okay, now let's chat a bit about these incredible hardwood furnitures, shall we? I mean, we're talking about the real deal here, the kind of furniture that's built to last, like your grandpappy's old truck that's been rolling down the road for decades. Hardwood furniture is not just functional, it's a work of art. That's the secret source my pals, skilled craftspeople pour their heart and soul into each piece. Using age-old techniques that have been handed down through generations, they're like the wizards of the furniture world conjuring up tables with dovetail joints that fit together like a puzzle. 
and chairs with mortise and tenon connections that could probably survive a tornado. It's like the superhero of hardwoods, talking of rain, sunshine, and whatever else Mother Nature throws its way without breaking a sweat. But here's the kicker hardwood furniture ain't just sitting pretty indoors. No, some of these bad boys are built for the great outdoors. It's handsome and it's built to stick around for the long haul. So why settle for flimsy furniture that's here today and gone tomorrow? Get yourself some hardwood magic and you'll be kicking back in style for years to come. Now, let's dive into the world of Filipino cuisine and get our taste buds tingling with some talk about bulolo and the art of grill cooking. You ready? Let's fire it up! First up, we've got bulolo, and let me tell you, this dish is like a warm, comforting hug from your grandma. It's a Filipino beef soup that's so hearty and delicious, it'll make you want to do a happy dance. Picture this, a big ale pot filled with tender beef shanks, marrow bones, and a medley of veggies like corn, cabbage, and potatoes, all simmered to perfection. The result, a rich, flavorful broth that's like a symphony of savory goodness. And let's not forget about that glorious bone marrow, the crown jewel of the Bulolo experience. Scoop it out, spread it on some freshly steamed rice, and you've got yourself a little slice of heaven. And today, we have Sir Aris Madikal Mapano, himself with a warm invitation for you. Hi guys! Kamusta po? Um, punta po kayo dito sa Carmel's Garden Restaurant. At Carmel na Kabite. Tapat po ng Carmel Municipal Park. Testingin niyo po yung mga best-seller po namin. Bulalo and Mihaw. And mga alam po namin na pagkain. Mga sinigal na lechong kawale. Yes, see you po. Napakasarap. Punta po kayo dito. Now, let's shift gears to grill cooking, a true culinary art form that takes us from the cozy kitchen to the sizzling outdoors. Imagine a balmy evening, a group of friends gathered round, and the tantalizing aroma of meat and veggies hitting the grill. That's what grill cooking is all about, a celebration of flavors and fellow riders' camaraderie. In the Philippines, grill cooking is practically a national sport. From street corners to beachside jacks, You'll find stalls and eateries serving up mouth-watering grilled treats that'll make your taste buds do the cha cha. Truly, it's another beautiful day that the Lord has made, so let us rejoice and be glad in it. But do not forget to subscribe. Yes, subscribe to this YouTube channel, and you will be so blessed. Always ride safe and ride another day. Lobo Viajero here wishing you all merry meet and merry part.